Ah, good evening. So I just uh, I had my Empire XS out today to chronograph with my R2A chronograph, my LMBR. And uh, she's 22 cal, and the original test I did went out the box was with some 18.13 uh, grain, 18s, uh, 96 shots I did. And this is the graph I got with all the data put in into my spreadsheet. It looks quite like it drops off quite a bit. Um, it actually does like up to 48 shots, it's got a spread of 28.8 um, FPS over those 48 shots, and it tails off quite a lot. So what I did, I've been shooting it a bit, obviously I put about probably 500 shots through it at least. And today I did a, another test and this was using the um, R RWS Superfield 5.51 and that's what it was originally tested with according to the actual data sheet I got with the rifle. And I got this, which looks a lot more uh, level. If, you, if I just bring it in a bit and you can pause it and read it. So reading it to you basically, uh, the high shot was at uh, shot number 10 and it was 11.74 and right the way through to basically four magazines, that's 48 shots because they're 12 shot magazines in 2.2, it had a spread of 14.8. Uh, it then sort of tailed off a little bit and then up to like uh, shot 55 it was only 19.1 spread and then at uh, shot 67 it was 25.4 so 67 shots from full to 67 shots and it was 25.4 FPS spread over those shots and then it did tail off uh, with the actual 80 the shot being 37.6 FPS so yeah a lot more consistent um, from the actual energy point of view the first 12 shots averaged at 11.53 and then 11.42 and then it was uh, 11.32 11.32 so the first four magazines are very consistent Really, at uh, you know, four, so you get a good forty-eight shots from full, and and it's like you're getting uh, like an, uh, an average spread over those forty-eight shots of fourteen point eight. So I did uh, eight magazines. Yep, ninety-six shots, and then I took it out in the rain. My rain at twenty-five meters, and I did another two magazines, and the final magazine, which was obviously twelve shots, it was from uh, one twenty to one ten bar. Sorry, one ten bar to one hundred bar, should say the start of the 10th, 10th magazine. So this rifle uses about uh, 10 bar per 12 shots, yeah, consistently through the through the fill, as you fill it. And I've got this. So what I've got, right, these first two here, um, I took those two shots first, and because I needed to put a hold over, because obviously the power drops, so it's sort of like sub nine foot, it was nine point, the, the final shot of this chronograph was about 9.3. Yeah, 9.3 one foot pounds energy, 511 FPS. Okay, and then I took two more magazines. So we're looking at this target was probably about nine foot pounds. Yeah, the final magazine. Um, so I had to add holdover. I only added a little bit of holdover, like one and a half mil holdover, and these first two shots. So I wanted to bring it into this center here. So I went for two mil uh, holdover, and my aim point was actually on this point here. Uh, because I haven't quite observed the scoping, the, the hawk touch scoping yet, because it's very gusty when I actually first set it up. So she, yeah, she is shooting slightly to, slightly to the right, and I managed to put ten shots in that area there, which is really so. It proves the actual barrel is very consistent with the. These are the RWS super fields that I was really tested with, with the five point five one millimeter head, by the way. So yeah, so is the Empire XS accurate? Yeah, I'd say so. If I put ten shots in that area there even at nine foot pounds at 25 meters, and it was blowing today. It's been very windy out there. Yeah, the flag's been horizontal, so yeah, I think that's a pretty good group, to be fair. It's certainly, uh, well, under, under a thumb. Yeah, so we're talking, you know, three quarters of an inch, no problem there. So yeah, Empire XS, yeah, I, I do think it's a very good rifle. Um, obviously it's not regulated, so that is really, you, you really need to do a full a crony test like this. And that will give you an idea of where the actual sweet spot is. So with this rifle, the sweet spot is basically, um, basically you'll get like at least four magazines. Um, you could push it to like uh, 60 shots, which is five magazines. And you're talking about 22 FPS over that, those five magazines, which is pretty consistent, to be fair, for a non-regulated rifle. So I hope you like that little video. Take care and thanks for watching.